Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today we have a really cool guitar. And also, I'm playing this Saturday at the Mint. I go on at 8 p.m., uh, so I hope to see you there. Um, Angela Petrilli's playing too. It's her album, or her vinyl release, I should say. Um, so there'll be a lot of cool things going on. But uh, the guitar today is one of my favorites. I, I haven't seen one in a while. We used to have a wall full of these guitars. Yeah, we did. And then everybody caught on, and now we have one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 1965 Epiphone Cornet. Ooh. And it's a cherry, and it's got the really cool Batwing headstock. Whoa. That's cool. That is cool. So one of my favorite guitars, I know a lot of people like Les Paul Juniors, SG Juniors. I would take this over all of those. And it's more forward portable. Um, so really, really cool instrument. Um, I love the neck on this. Uh, it gets chunkier towards the heel, but a really clean version. Usually these guitars are pretty beat up. It's got the little bar. And check out this volume and tone knob. So cool. So 60s kind of vibes. Um, and then you have one P90 in the back, simple machine. Um, this is actually a transition because it's got nickel parts and chrome parts. Um, so, um, a lot of things going on in that year, but a really thin body too with a nice curve. I always say these were kind of like an Eddie Van Halen guitar before he even started doing that kind of, uh, you know, humbucker in the bridge strap body vibe. This almost has that vibe and you can get way up there too. And it's really in tune. Um, really cool that we have the case. These usually get crushed. It even has the hang tags. Really cool. Ridiculous. Especially on these guitars, you usually lose the hang tag. People would just get straight to playing and never look back. Um, but this one might have come from Norn's warehouse. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling it did because you just don't see them like this. Um, a couple of little marks on the back, but nothing crazy. But we're going to take this out front and see what we can do. But I hope to see you guys Saturday. And uh, let's have fun with this guitar. Yes, I'll see you Saturday. Links Saturday. below. Links below. $12. Dollars. <laughs> I'm from with the beautiful 1965 Coronet. This is an Epiphone Coronet. Um, really cool. It's got the Batwing headstock and some transitional nickel and chrome parts. Uh, we're also going through a Fender Super Reverb. This says 1P90 pickup, so we're going to just start clean and then we'll show you it distorted. So we get. So we'll turn down the tone knob, uh, turn the tone knob down a little bit, and you get kind of a moodier sound.
back and you get that kind of woman cry sound, they call it. sounds uh, but let's uh, let's distort it and see what we get Coronet and Cherry really clean. I love the Batwing headstock. Uh, you can check them all out at normantrickguitars.com and also Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemon. See you soon. Bye. Wahoo! 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 No. <laughs>